as a longtime runner, I started uh, noticing that my peers were a lot faster than I was, and I was deteriorating faster. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is a genetic disorder, and one that we know is responsible for some cases of emphysema. Even though I had no other symptoms, I did not notice shortness of breath or anything like that, but I just couldn't keep up. We all produce a protective protein called alpha-1 antitrypsin that helps defend the lungs. People who are low in this protein have a high risk of developing emphysema. So I worked harder, but I got slower. Before I was diagnosed with this disease, I led a very active lifestyle work-wise and also athletically. I did a lot of running, including even a few marathons. And I noticed that my performance was deteriorating faster than that of my peers. The signs of lung disease are nonspecific. People get breathless, they cough. And for that matter, a stethoscope is a pretty limited tool. So we rely a lot on breathing tests to help us understand lung conditions. I asked my doctor over a period of years, a number of times, why this could be, and never got a satisfactory answer to that question. We know that lung disease develops gradually in this disorder, and the signs and symptoms may be subtle. So early diagnosis is important, but difficult sometimes. Finally, though, a very perceptive chiropractor said I should insist on a referral to a respirologist, and the respirologist gave me the simple test that determined that I have this disease. So when we have identified the individual with the full deficiency, we want to assess the family to find other individuals as early as possible. Naturally, we were worried about our adult children, and so they got tested, and two of our four children do have the disease. Knowing that enables them to make lifestyle choices that likely could delay or reduce the possibility that they develop symptoms. It's important to recognize this variant of emphysema because the treatment consequences are striking. We can give inhaled medicine, we give other treatments for people with asthma and COPD, and there's a limit to their impact. Initially, when I was diagnosed, it was very emotionally difficult because I wondered all kinds of scary things, including what life would be like, how fast the deterioration of my performance would be. But in the case of somebody who's got reduced levels of alpha-1 antitrypsin protein, we can give infusions of protein once per week, restore the levels towards normal. But once I absorbed the fact that I have this disease which will progress, I had to decide how to live my life from there on. So in the case of this genetic disorder, perhaps measuring it, even in people who seem relatively young for an important lung condition, it can occur early in this disorder. We want doctors measuring lung function to detect lung problems early. Early diagnosis is very important. Smoking is the very worst thing that you can do if you have this. And thirdly, maintain a fit and healthy lifestyle, both diet-wise and exercise. Testing for it is a simple and inexpensive blood test, and it's readily available to any doctor. And as we've talked about, finding that specific diagnosis can have a tremendous impact on outcomes. Make sure you've been screened. To learn more about genetic conditions and your lungs, visit healthandfamily.ca forward slash alpha1.